Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a stunningly beautiful at the minute, at the moment, 29 degree uh, Wednesday, the 29th of December. Got a very, very light dusting of snow, just enough to uh, cover up everything that we cleaned off. I mean, not, I mean, just enough to turn it white. So somebody posted uh, the highway getting out of Toledo, and it <laughs> looks like a winter wonderland. It's like the city hasn't gone out and cleaned any of that up. It's kind of crazy. It's Sashi Nanny over there playing. But man, it's still just stunningly beautiful out here. And just the peace is crazy. Are there airplanes flying over? Always love the look of snow hanging in the trees. It's like a winter wonderland out here. Very, very nice. <laughs> Sashi. <laughs> yeah, do your little woo woo. Let's hear you woo woo. <laughs> No, that's not. It. She goes, uh oh, they're firing at us now. <laughs> Incoming rounds. Yeah. Oh, look at that tree right there. Let's zoom in on that. You know, it's cold when the snow, even in the sunshine, just hangs there. And it's amazing how much of what we lost yesterday. Crazy. The old Annie rut. That's what she does. Back and forth. You ready to go in for a little bit? Y'all been out here for a while. I just come out here to check on you. What do you think of that, Taki? Huh? You have fun in the snow, don't you? I was watching, Kelly and I were sitting there watching one of the cameras playing out here. And Danny, that's Abby, but Danny, Sasha likes playing with Danny more than anybody else. And uh, and he goes just out of reach of where she can get him. <laughs> Poor Sasha. She, she probably annoys him because she likes to play with him a little too much sometimes. Man. It's back down in the 20s out here again. But you can see where it's... Well, I scraped the sidewalks. Snow got back on it again last night a little bit. You want to see something crazy? This is something Kelly got me for Christmas. This is pretty nuts. think that does it it's not meant to throw a long ways but look at the light from that thing oh it's 2,000 lumens maybe it's got a 6,000 battery or something I don't remember what it was 4,000 battery that's 2,000 lumens with both a both of them turned on this is a little work light. I'll, I'll show this thing to you right quick. So this is the light I was just showing you. And it cycles. And you can adjust the brightness on it too. You don't have to keep it wide open. And it works as a power bank as well. But it folds into all kinds of different shapes to be a, a work light. Move this thing all around different ways. Make it flat like that. You can spin everything back around. You can tell she's nice and fresh and tight. So you can have lights going back. This is like a storage way. Let me show you what it'll do here. Nice strong magnets. But you can move this thing around one or both, whatever you want to do. If you want to light the shop up in a weird way. Find the power button. 
by default it comes on in the hot spot first. Hit it again and it's one. One light. See that one's out. And then uh the other. And then you get the cool. Here, let me get it back on again here. Oh, I thought it went into red by default. I know you can push it and hold it and make all the modes change with it. I haven't played with it enough with the different modes to goof with it. Well, what's cool is you can lay the thing on the ground, hang it on something, um, have it going different angles, have the light going every which way with this thing. It's really cool. We uh, sell them at the store. We've off and on sold them for years. I should have pulled the old one out too. But here's the newest version of what they what they call the um, the Big Larry. But now it's uh, rechargeable. That was the one fault with the Big Larrys previously is uh, it went through, actually it lasted quite a while, but it went through batteries probably a little more often than I wanted. And it's got retractable, like a little pocket clip. And uh, it's also got the different uh, levels of light you can change through. It's going all the way down. It flashes when it's all the way down. Flashes once when it's all the way up. That thing's crazy bright. And then uh, it's got the red, which is kind of cool. So does that, that one I just had is red too. lights with that bright over there that's nice and quiet in here heck with the way these things are i can sit here in my area and have the silence from those uh, it's got a flash yeah flashing mode too i think it flashes sos yep it's pretty cool huh oh all the way around cool and also she got me Oh, that's where I'm getting 6,000. 6,000 watt, one of those, you see those TV commercials where they're, um, that's kind of weird in here with the lights out, isn't it? Kind of cool at the same time. Looks like that's the staging area back there. But, um, don't be paying attention to that box. <laughs> but, uh, it's, I didn't know where to put it because it's a screw in. It's like a light bulb replacement and it has the three little LED flaps. I'm sure you've seen the TV commercials, but this this one's from Nebo. And um can figure out what to do with it. And Kelly goes, well, you haven't even done anything with with the lights. And uh, I go, well, here, that closet, we got a, a walk-in closet in our bedroom. I said, that thing's always dark. I'm always digging around trying to find something. I screwed that thing in there. Oh my lord, the brightness of that thing's crazy. Well, there's one more light that she got me from Nebo. And it's this thing. And it has a, also has a charging bank thing on it. A little dust cover doesn't stay on there very well. And I think I've got it like low, probably not even medium brightness. And it memorizes where you're at. But also has like a survival blade on it as well. And you can take that off if you don't like that and you want to use it just as a flashlight and, you know, charge your phones and stuff like that. Oh, there it is, 2200 milliamps. This box over here, this is cool. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Thank you for a wonderful year. We wish you a very... Wish you a very happy holiday season. Isn't that nice? But look at the bag. I'm terrible. I can't. I pulled it out. And I thought, oh, I should have filmed this when I pulled it out. But look at the bag that it's in. Is that cool or what? Isn't that cool? A BRP as I'm on a Harley three-wheeler. <laughs> well, they know. I don't even have a spider in here right now to even show you. 
don't even know when we're going to get any of the 22 RTs. Should be soon. But a Yeti thermos. How about that? These Yetis are not cheap. And what makes it even cooler yet? Ta-da! Can-Am on it. Man, that thing is nice. Really, really nice. There's like an instruction thing that's inside there. You need instructions for a third. It's probably a warning of some sort. But, you know, it's got the twist off top for the... Look at that. The quality, even the quality of the lid. It's got the twist off top so you can... <laughs> instruction sheet in there if you guys can see that but can am folks if you guys watch i know some of you do um thank you guys very much this is awesome came out of texas too isn't that cool they've got a big uh, a big presence in texas now it's where a lot of the training is done there here in the u.s love that bag that is too cool. That's kind of fun stuff, isn't it? Carry me some nice warm coffee. Nice cool water in the summertime. You gotta love yourself a Yeti. <laughs> the owner's son, um, Rick, he's uh, the other senior tech there. In fact, he, I think he's got just a little, just a skosh over a year before he retires. Man, it's weird. You know all these people for all these years and then they're reaching retirement age. I've had that because I've always, for whatever reason, I've been around, um, well, not that Rick's substantially older than me, but when I was a kid, I mean, I had guys that retired. In fact, I even got some tools at work that a guy retired when I was still in my early 20s. Really cool guy. But um, anyway, the owner's son, he had one of the original Big Larrys. And um, I think the little shielding thing had come off of it. And I forget, it was, he still used it. That thing was haggard. It's been dropped in pans of oil, pans of gasoline, you know, doing stuff with carbs and tanks and whatever. And the owner's son bought him one of these. And it's always up there at that their computer Cause I'll go in there and print stuff off of a thumb drive and have to un unplug his uh, light base to, to do it. And uh, Every once in a while I'll go up there and he's got his flashlight in the base charging. But um, yeah, these things originally, I thought they were kind of a joke. This company, they're, they're, a, they're a big player. They got all kinds of cool stuff. In fact, I purchased personally one of the, you know, the little pin lights I always use at work. A long one to leave in my box and it's also rechargeable and you can adjust the beam of it I just leave it in the widest spot but it's nice and bright and the battery seems to last forever and again it's built built very well just like like these things this is the craziest thing but I can guarantee you that'll come in handy you know just using one and just lowering the the beam to you know a level that you would need it for personally Cool stuff. Thanks, little wifey. Thanks, Can Am. You guys are awesome, all of you. As you can see, I put everything back in their little home spot. The old roadie road king. She goes, Why are you playing around with me for a little bit? I was starting to get all excited. She said, You were giving me some attention. Yep, gave you some wiring attention. Slim. I ain't even touched that slim in a while. I think I touched it the other night because I was navigating through there doing something. Howdy, howdy. My lovely old gal. <laughs> I love that slim. Love all that. You pick what you like, you know. But um, especially that red street glide. I, uh, man, I, she was so pretty. But, you know, my heart is in something way more simple. And then, uh, Going to Texas, thanks to the help of all you guys. That was awesome. Um, and I spent essentially six days on that 2019. Um, 
man. And then, you know, we went through the winter and it was like the first ride I went on to, went on. I went to a Northwest Harley. It was sometime in the early spring. Maybe it was even before that. I think it was like in May or something, but, uh, which is spring, but anyway, went up there and, um, went on that ride and there were several guys with road Kings and there was this one red one, which reminded me of this red one that sat in the, that parked in the room next to me there in Paris, Texas. And, um, man, my head just got wrapped up in a road King because I really, really, really enjoyed riding that road King in Texas. I mean, I just fell for that thing big time. Even the stock seat didn't bother me. Actually, seat on this one didn't really bother me either, but I know that over time, I just felt like it was sliding me forward all the time. And I noticed that with the one in Texas too. But, you know, I was comfortable on it. It's not that it wasn't comfortable. It's just that's way more comfortable. These, like the seats, um, like the street glides had on them, both of my street glides, stock seats, and they're like this. They're kind of, you know, they're cut down a bit. No lack of comfort there whatsoever. Kelly's never once ever complained about her butt on uh, on this thing. We spent, you know, some good hours on it, you know. But anyway, I rattled on. I just come out here to show you guys main the thing from UPS today from Can-Am. That uh, sparked a, a little show-and-tell thing in me. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to bounce for now. Well, hello there, you two. Man, still, still in the 20s. Still cold. Yeah, still snow. Still plenty of cold. Still, uh, I, some flashed across here as a prediction of more snow. But I don't see any sign. <laughs> Weather Channel sometimes weirds me out. I know. Man, I spent hours today, literally hours working on something with youtube and the channels and i just realized about 20 minutes ago i made a critical mistake ah oh, it's fixable yeah it's definitely fixable but still a pain in the hind it hand. requires getting that old dell windows pc man any you guys that haven't converted over to macintosh i just don't even i mean i have to deal with windows at work but yeah another world just literally another world. I think the only reason people use Windows is they have to. Yeah. <laughs> Certain apps just only work on that. But mm -hmm. anyway, that's a that's a whole nother discussion. Yes, it is. Anyway, that's what I pretty much did today. And then that box from UPS showed up, and I thought I'm gonna take that out there and talk to the peeps. There you go. And I show them your flashlight. You got me too. Yeah. Yeah, things cool. I All of them are cool. Gadgets. Yeah, I'm a gadget dude. Yes, he is. <laughs> well, I think while it's freezing cold out here, we're going to slip out on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Thank you. All righty. And we'll see you in the morning. See what the weather holds. Yep. We'll see. Never know. See what she's doing tomorrow. Yeah. The one nice thing out of all this is the total silence other than animals and stuff. I know. No cars, it, no yeah. nothing. No neighbors going up and down the road. Yeah. It's just it's great. Chill. Everybody's hunkered down. Yep. All right. All see right. you tomorrow. See Thanks you for watching. Mm -hmm.